Hello, my name is Neil Horton, product trainer here at Bloom US. And today we're going to be talking about troubleshooting tip on blue motion from Aventa. Does your tip on blue motion drawer not open when you press on the front? If so, let's open to make sure we don't have any bumpers installed on the back side of the front. If we do, we need to remove them. Now that the bumpers are removed, we can close the drawer, push to activate, and now we have a functioning tip on blue motion drawer. If your tip on blue motion drawer is still not opening, we want to make sure that we have the proper front gap set. In order to do that, we need to remove the drawer box. Now that the drawer box has been removed, we need to push the drawer profiles back into the cabinet so that we can use our front gap template to set the proper front gap. In order to use the template, we need to make sure that we're using the correct side of the template. One side is for 5 8 or 16 millimeter subfront thickness. The other side is for half inch or 13 millimeter subfront thickness. In our application, we're using a 5 8 subfront thickness, so we'll use the 5 8 side of the template. We want to make sure that that faces outward when we're looking at the front of the cabin. And then we rotate the orange adjustment wheel on the tip on the motion unit until we make contact with the template. Once we make contact with the template, we set the proper position. We do this on the other side as well. Now that we set the proper front gap, we can reinstall our drawer box and test our tip on blue motion application. Now we have a functioning tip on blue motion application. Does your tip on blue motion drawer not activate properly when touching one side or the other of a front? If that's the case, you want to make sure that we have a synchronization rod installed. We're going to start by removing the drawer box. And in this application, you can see we do not have a synchronization rod installed. The synchronization rod is important because it connects the right and left unit together to ensure that they both operate and activate at the same time. Here we have our pre-cut synchronization rod with the synchronization rod adapters already installed. We're going to now insert into the tip-on blue motion devices. Now that our synchronization rod is installed, our left and right sides are connected. We can reinstall our drawer box. And now we have an operating tip-on blue motion application. Is your tip-on blue motion drawer not open as far as you think it should? If that's the case, you want to make sure that you have the proper tip on blue motion unit installed for your application's weight. After installing the proper tip on blue motion unit for this application, now we're getting the correct amount of drawer opening. Does your tip on blue motion from a Vento drawer not open properly or make a loud click when opening? If so, there are a few things that we need to check. Let's start by checking the adjustments on our Movento runners. We'll check the height adjustment here in the front, ensuring both front and back adjustments are made equally. This can also be done for side to side adjustments. This will make sure we keep the drawer parallel in the cabinet and the front gap consistent. We'll reinstall our drawer box. Now we have proper functioning tip on the motion for Movento. If all of our adjustments are set correctly, the next thing we want to do is to check that our Movento runners are set level in the cabinet. Now let's level the Movento runners in the cabinet. Now that we've checked all of the adjustments and made sure that our Movento runners are installed level in the cabinet, we want to make sure that we have a square drawer box and a square cabinet. If you have any other questions about tip on blue motion from Movento or any of our other products, please visit our website at bloom.com. If there are any videos you'd like to see in the future, please let us know in the comments below.